Hi there, I'm Kate Griggs and I'm the founder and chief executive of the global charity Made by Dyslexia. Made by Dyslexia exists to help the world to properly value, support and understand dyslexic thinking. Because most of us still see dyslexia as a disability or a difficulty or something to be overcome when actually we know from all of the research that dyslexia is a super valuable way of thinking that is vital in the future and actually vital right now. So in this presentation, we'd like to help you to understand what dyslexia really is, how to spot, support and empower it. And I'd like to kick off now with an amazing performance poem from our new ambassador, Asma El Badawi. I hope you enjoy it. I was in primary school when I realised every time I write red markings always appeared on my textbook. Error after error after error followed me into secondary school. There's a discrepancy between the way that you talk and the way that you write, teachers kept alliterating. At parents' evenings, my parents would be met with concerns that I wouldn't be able to make it out in the real world, let alone in the classroom. What I didn't know then was that my mind processed in its own unique language. I liked sentences that captured my imagination and flow to a rhythm, poetry. I like mixing colours, textures, fabrics and objects and making them into art, creating. I like asking where, when and why so I can understand the way the world operates, critical thinking. The education system wasn't made for people like me. It was rigid in the way it examined intelligence and programmed us to stay within the margins. In the shadows I kept writing creating and asking questions because I knew no other way of existing. On a warm June night a decade later, I came out of the shadows, placed my mic on the stage, took a deep breath and let my voice break the silence. I spoke sentences accompanied by words I couldn't spell challenging gender roles, addressing harassment and what it means to be the daughter of an immigrant away from home. I found myself on aeroplanes, trains and buses, speaking in spaces little me would have screamed of joy had she known the magical future awaiting her. This is dyslexia. It gives us the ability to visualise without limitations, push the boundaries of storytelling and creating, ask questions and find solutions to complex problems we face every day. We are more than the words we spell incorrectly. We are creatives addressing social issues, surgeons saving lives, astronauts exploring the galaxies, athletes pushing the human body to its maximum capabilities, designers and mechanics creating sustainable clothing, cars and bettering our future. So tell me, would you rather live in a world free of red markings, where our intelligence is measured by how well we write, or embrace a world full of innovators made by dyslexia. That's incredibly moving, an incredibly moving poem. Asma's very lucky because she's been able to tap into her, her strengths and her dyslexic thinking skills. For those of you who don't know anything about her, um, she is um, obviously a performance poet and very talented. She's also a basketball player and she's sponsored by Adidas. And she uh, ran the most amazingly successful campaign, which actually got uh, the International Basketball Association to allow um, players to wear the hijab which um, was a, a really groundbreaking moment. So she's tapped into her storytelling, into her creative thinking, into her campaigning and her, her real desire to make change as well as her sport. And those are the sorts of talents that dyslexic people are born with. And we need to make sure that we nurture those through childhood and into employment as well. So I'm going to just start now by explaining to you 
10 facts that we think that every single person needs to know about dyslexia. So here they are. As many as one in five people are dyslexic. Dyslexia is genetic, so it runs in families. Dyslexic brains process information differently. This results in strengths like critical thinking, creativity and communication skills. It also results in challenges with reading, writing, spelling, rote learning, memory and concentration. Each dyslexic will have a different pattern of strengths and challenges. Identification of these is key to our success in education and employment. Placing more importance on dyslexic strengths than challenges means we will flourish. Four in five dyslexics attribute dyslexic thinking to their success. Research is telling us that dyslexic thinking skills are vital for the future. So throughout time, dyslexic thinking has had a really big impact in, uh, on our world. Some of the greatest brands of all time have been made by dyslexia. Apple, Ikea, Virgin, Jo Malone. The list is really endless. All incredible dyslexic entrepreneurs who have used their creativity, their imagination and their, their questioning of industries to create brands that we now couldn't do without. And then if you look at uh, inventions, we have the light bulb, the airplane, the automated car. Again, the list is endless. People who pushed industries pushed invention beyond all imagination and came up with things that we can't do without. So why is there a problem? If we know that these people have incredible, incredible uh, value to give to the world, whether it's through innovation, imagination or creativity, why do we still have a problem? Well, when we started Made by Dyslexia back in 2017, we did some research into the world's perceptions of dyslexia. And only 3% of people saw dyslexia as an advantage. So we set about trying to change that. And over the last four years, we've built the biggest community of dyslexic people in the world. And together, we are here to help you to understand dyslexia for what it really is. We want this movement to be able to solve this problem once and for all. So we've also partnered with some amazing organizations to create solutions to the problem, to help the education system and to help the workplace properly understand, value and support dyslexia. I'll come on to that again in, in a, a little bit more detail later. But right now, I'd just like to share with you what dyslexic thinking skills really are. Visualising, interacting with space, senses, physical ideas and new concepts. 75% of dyslexics are above average at visualising. Imagining, creating an original piece of work or giving ideas a new spin. 84% of dyslexics are above average at imagining. Communicating, crafting and conveying clear and engaging messages. 71% of dyslexics are above average at communicating. Reasoning, understanding patterns, evaluating possibilities and making decisions. 84% of dyslexics are above average at reasoning. Connecting, understanding self, connecting, empathising and influencing others. 80% of dyslexics are above average at connecting. Exploring, being curious and exploring ideas in a constant and energetic way. 84% of dyslexics are above average at exploring. To find out more about your dyslexic thinking skills and to take the test, visit madebydyslexia.org. So there's some pretty amazing skills and abilities that we are naturally hardwired with. We partnered with EY and produced two reports called The Value of Dyslexia. 
The first report looked at dyslexic thinking skills and also looked at the skills that the World Economic Forum were predicting were going to be vital for the workplace of the future. And there really was a completely direct match. The second EY report that we did looked again at the skills the World Economic Forum was saying were needed for the future but also looked at technology and how technology was going to impact on those skills. And what we saw in the second report was that all of the skills that dyslexics find challenging were going to be taken over by computers and by technology. And the skills that we naturally excel in were absolutely the skills needed for the future. So not only do we know that dyslexic thinking is vital, but we also know that technology is going to help to mitigate a lot of the challenges that we have, which are very real things like spelling, um, being able to remember lots of facts and figures um, and, and things that really we, we um, assess with standardised tests, whether that's in education or in the workplace. We recently partnered with Manpower, the global recruitment company. And with Manpower, we looked at the impact that the pandemic has had on the workplace. And what that research found is that by 2025, 50% of jobs are going to be done by machines. The other 50% of jobs are going to be done by humans. This whole process has been sped up by the pandemic, where digitization has just moved things forward so fast. But this is a brilliant, brilliant time to be dyslexic because the 50% of skills that humans are going to need in the workplace are 100% 10 out of 10 dyslexic thinking skills. So just let's have a look now at what those skills are. And this is one test that dyslexics absolutely ace. Accountability, reliability and discipline. Resilience, stress tolerance and adaptability. Initiative taking. Reasoning and problem solving. Leadership and social influence. Critical thinking and analysis. Collaboration and teamwork. Creativity and originality. Active learning and curiosity adaptability. So what can we do about it? Well, whether you are an employer or uh, we're looking at the workforce or whether we're looking at education and you're a, a teacher, clearly we need to do something to make sure we're tapping into this massive, massive potential. But here's the rub. Currently, less than one in five employers and even worse statistic in education understand dyslexia as a strength. So the first thing we have to do is educate the workplace and the education system to understand dyslexia as a strength and to know exactly what to do to support dyslexic people too. So at Made by Dyslexia, we've created two global initiatives. For the workplace, we have a campaign called Join the Dots. We have a workplace interactive guide that is free on our website and it will help every single workplace in the world and employers understand how to spot dyslexia and how to empower it. There are really simple things that you can do that do not cost a penny. In order to put that workplace guide together and all the other information you can find on our website, We've tapped into our global community and you have really amazing insights from dyslexic people saying what they would like and what help they need in the workplace. And as I say, it's really simple. We have lots of videos you can watch and all sorts of amazing information. So we would ask every employer to download that workplace guide and go through it with your employees. Use this presentation, get involved, really dig in and, and help to empower dyslexic thinking. And in the education system, we've partnered with Microsoft to create free teacher training for all teachers. The training is video based and it features teachers from two of the world's most well-known and respected dyslexia schools. 
Again, lots of really vital, easy information to follow. It won't cost you a penny to implement this, but it will transform the outcomes of dyslexic children. And that campaign is called Connect the Spots. All of these things you can find on our website. I'd like to now just play a film of uh, some dyslexic people who will explain to you how their dyslexic thinking helps them uh, and a little bit about it in the workplace. Our brains, uh, they're wired to, I think, process information differently. One of the strengths that we have as dyslexics is to look at things differently and be a problem solver, find new ways to do things, be experimental, entrepreneurial. We can simplify things. Uh, we see the big picture. In a world which is pretty competitive, I think to be able to look at it differently is a huge advantage. Dyslexic minds have exactly the skills we need for the workforce of tomorrow. Dyslexia is a talent first and foremost, and it's a talent that needs to be recognised uh, as something that can make a fundamental shift in how organisations recruit and solve the skill shortage across the world. We need people that have got amazing creativity. We need people that have got critical thinking skills. The imagination, the storytelling, the communication, the empathy, all these positives. We need people who are amazing when it comes to visualisation. And all of that you see, and some, with people that have dyslexia. Our dyslexic and neurodiverse colleagues really are mission critical to GCHQ. I'm often looking through a lot of data and I find that my dyslexia helps me spot patterns that aren't always obvious to everyone else around me. Now our philosophy is one of strengths, so that's encouraging people to use the innate skills that they have, that's where we put our emphasis. How can we maximise those capabilities that you have? We don't focus on weakness, we focus on strengths. If today we were to employ Superwoman, what we wouldn't do is complain that she can't handle kryptonite. We'd look at how good she is and all the wonderful other things she does, but we'd never, never really draw attention to that kryptonite's not her thing. I've been really impressed by how much support my employers have given me. Um, and it's like, that's you, fine, let's find a way of what is it we can do to support you. And that has been a revelation. I just wish I'd, I wish I knew about that before, or, or more to the point, I wish I had the confidence to, to ask for it before. For dyslexic parents, for dyslexic employees, for dyslexic children, for all dyslexics around the world, and for those who are allies in this area, just remember one thing. You've got a brain that's wired for the 21st century. And that's an incredible, incredible superpower. So there you have it. It really is time to redefine dyslexia for the 21st century and to make sure that every education setting and every workplace setting can spot, support and empower the one in five dyslexics within your community. We're right here with you to help you do that. We have a huge amount of information on our website. We have a brand new book, This is Dyslexia, that will help you to really understand dyslexia in the way that we've described it in this presentation today. We've aligned with the UN Sustainable Goals and we have a mission to make sure that we're empowering every workplace and every education setting by 2030. So we really, really hope that you will dive in, get involved and join the amazing community that we've created to help drive change. Thank you so much.